Hey guys, what's up? Um, today I'm standing up because I feel like standing up. The currently it is November third, the presidential election going on, and right now we have Biden where it's two hundred five to one thirty six Trump. So I thought I'd come to you guys for my second 3D printing video. I wanted to introduce, as you saw in the last video, where I introduced my 3D printer, is my 3D printing filament stand. Now I built this a long time ago, and basically it was a mock-up of what I wanted to do for what I would sell. Basically I had it on the end of my desk, so the filament would run into my printer so I wouldn't have to buy the exact filament for the back of it. It is still the 39 point something filament that the three, the Flash Forge Finder takes. Uh, basically what I did was I took one 2x4, cut it in half, put two on the side. I had a little ID for this. And you can see this little niche and then there's a bigger niche on the side here. I had an idea. I was like thinking... If I put this, I can actually hang stuff off of it, or put some of my 3D printing materials underneath here. But that really didn't go to plan. So what I basically did was I took a piece of MPC, sanded it down, and put two, like two screws, one in each post. And as you can see, it's it doesn't it doesn't move. There's two screws in the two top here for the middle base. It's not really level, but that's okay because. Yep, almost crushed my phone. What I wanted to show was. Oh, I just messed up my camera angles. What I wanted to show was I cut these out so I could fit at least four different types of filament materials. So, like, if I bought more than one that I needed, I could go here and just drop in. So I have four on here exactly. That's why I cut them down. And they would have a little bit of play. So if I wanted to use one, I would pull it out each individually to give it space so it could just go. Like black here, it would just pull. Purple, it would just pull. And then what also was the best part about it is I can actually take it underneath and leave it sit so I wouldn't have to use the holes on the side. And basically, it would just sit underneath here, and I wouldn't have to worry about coming back to it every single time and finding out where I need to put it. I would just pull the one string off, detach the one filament, and get that. Same with the marble. The marble idea is not too popular. I will start selling some of my 3D printer products, like... The phone stand from Thingverse. I will be selling these online soon, hopefully. Um, once I find out if I can. But, yeah. And then, just so you guys have a better idea of what this snug fit is, because you guys might think, oh, well, they're going to fall off the side or something or anything. Well, you're right. Anything could happen. But, I thought about that. I got a... I think it's like, I want to say maybe a three inch thick pipe. It's flexible, so when I put it in there, it'd be half and half. I cut it a little short. As you can see, I can put my finger here, and my finger's like falling off on the side here. But when you push it in, it's locked in. I made it tight enough with a um, bandsaw. So when I did put my filament on here, I knew I couldn't just knock something and shove over the side or go this way. I did actually like an angle sand on the hole soles. Because I hole soled it and then I cut it out with a band saw. So it'd be a tight fit. And that's all I wanted to show you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you guys would like to see anything else that I'm going to be doing, um, just give me a heads up and I will do it. Definitely. Alright, catch you guys later.